Welcome, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is EET 121, Digital One. Today we're going to discuss De Morgan's theorems. Uh, quite similar to our 12 rules of Boolean addition, De Morgan's theorems are going to make your life easy. The proper application of these guys can seriously simplify a logic circuit. Uh, the first De Morgan's theorem that we're going to cover is basically the complement of a product of variables is equal to the sum of the complements of the variables. So visually, what is that going to look like? So that's a product of the variables. So the, that's the complement of the product of variables is equal to the sum of the complements of the variables. OK, this is answering that burning question for you. Why is? a NAND equivalent to a negative OR. And this is answering it right here, because check this out. If you think about it, this is just an AND gate negated, where that's X and Y. X, oops, sorry. X and Y. And this right here is this intermediary is x and y. This output right here is not x and y. But now this right here, x and y, if you think about this, because that's what those bubbles are. They're negation bubbles, x, y. And this guy, once he goes through, is a not x. This guy's a not y, so it's not x or not y. Okay, so that's the first one. Second to Morgan's theorem, totally opposite. Basically, it says the complement of two or more variables ORD is equivalent to the AND of the complements of the individual variables, or the complement of sum of variables equal to the product of the complements of the variable. So let's draw that guy out. Again, a visual. So it's the complement of two or more variables ORD is equal to the AND of the complement of the variables. Okay? So this is answering that burning question to you, which I'm certain has been bothering you this whole time, is why is a NOR equivalent? to our negative and. Why are these guys equivalent? OK, if you can think about this, again, that negation bubble really is an inverter. So x and y, excuse me, x or y right here is x or y. That negation bubble means what's coming out here is not x or y. And then what we've got here. two inverters, x, y. What's coming here is not x. What's there? It's not y. What is coming out of this? Not x and not y. And if you think about this again, a negative and. So this is negative and. And that's a nor. So a negative and is if these things, if this is 0, 0 there, and that's 1, 1, and you get a high right there. So basically, with our truth table, x, y, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. What's not x? What's not y? I recommend using these intermediate variables. So y is the complement, excuse me, not y is the complement of y. So it's 1, 0, 1, 0. The x is the, excuse me, not x is the complement of x. So it's 1, 1, 0, 0. And now what we're doing is we're anding these together here. So not x and, oops, not y. So 1 and 1 is 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay? And if we've done our job right, 
this truth table which we just designed should match this guy's right here. So x, y, they're coming into the OR gate. I'm going to do this guy first. So x or y, and then we're going to do the complement of that. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. What is it when it's or 0, 1, 1, 1. And we complement that 1, 0, 0, 0. Look at that. De Morgan's theorem verified. So that's the second theorem. I definitely encourage you to go ahead and do the truth table for the NAND and your negative OR and make sure that things match. Um, this uh, section ends with a couple uh, really cool examples, and we're just going to go through one of them right here using De Morgan's theorem. Um, go ahead and come up with a simplification for this guy. So we've got a not D and, excuse me. And, and that whole thing is complemented. Okay, so according to De Morgan's first, uh, excuse me, let's see how we have a number. According to De Morgan's second theorem, all we can do is remove this or right here by complementing that and complementing these guys. Okay. And now what we're going to do is just keep on breaking these things apart because there's an and right there. What we'll do is that. And the complement there. And this whole thing is anded with not E. So we're going to work inside the parentheses because there's nothing we, else we can do outside the parentheses right now. So now we can break this guy up right here. Then we can break this thing up. And that is all anded together with not E. But now what is a double negation? It's the same thing. And there you go. OK? So pretty straightforward approach. Uh, there's like, I think, three or four examples with a couple um, related problems with answers in the back of the book. This is something you can't buy. Uh, you got to start practicing it. So um, start now. Um, it's, what is it, uh, section yeah, section 4.3, and it's examples 4.3, 4.4, and 4.5, and 4.6, and 4.7, uh, with a little bit of review at the end. So start practicing these things because we're going to move on to Boolean analysis of logic circuits.